Hello everyone. Do you remember when we were learning about the wise man and the foolish man who built their houses on the sand? Um, we had two sock puppets called Bill and Ben, if you remember, but Bill floated off. He was the, the stupid one and he went in the river and we lost Bill. So I found in my cupboard two new puppets today. They're called Larry. Hello. And here's Kenny. Hi. Hi, I'm Kenny. Oops, something's gone wrong. Uh, they're just sitting by a lake uh, there, having a nice time fishing. Shall we just listen in to hear what they're saying? Larry, do you know, Kenny, I was here last week and caught a really big salmon. It was enormous. Don't think it could have been as big as the one I got. It must have been at least two metres and it fed the whole family. Mine was as big, this big. And we have a big pond in our garden, more like a lake really, and we let it go in there. We didn't need it to feed us. We've got real food. Well, we've got a swimming pool and we've got a lake. I say, I bet I'm taller than you. Well, you may be taller, but I'm definitely smarter, you dongo, boom, boom. Stop, you two. You're making yourselves look silly and talking about who is the greatest when really neither of you are great. And it reminds me of what we've got to learn today in today's lesson. So, listen in. They were all gathered in one place and Jesus had just told them that this was going to be their last meal together before he entered a time of suffering. He also told them that one of them was going to betray him. You would think that having heard that news, they'd be so shocked that they wouldn't know what to speak about. But do you know what? Within minutes, they'd started to bicker amongst themselves over who of them was the greatest. A bit like our friends, you know who. Well, to set the scene, they'd all arrived together, but in Jesus' time, it was the custom that the host of the gathering, he'd provide some food, some food but also some water to wash their feet. They wore open-toed sandals and it was dusty roads, but not only dirty, they're probably smelly too. The main means of moving about was animals. And of course the animals pooped and then the people walked on the poop. So you can imagine cleaning anybody's feet wasn't very nice and it generally was the servants who did it. Jesus got a bowl and took off his robe and put on an apron and he washed the disciples' feet and then dried the feet with an apron. That was the teacher, the master, lowering himself to do this job. They should have been ashamed, those disciples. And they were, they were disagreeing about who was the greatest. Jesus was the, rightly so the master and the master washed the, the, the feet of the disciples and told them that now you, the disciples, must wash each other's feet and be ranked as equals, as, the, as, as servants. That was a great lesson, but the greatest lesson would be that he would be serving them in a completely different way by not only washing their feet and all the germs and the rubbish on their feet away but washing their souls as well and this was the act of service that Jesus performed to let them know about the life that he could give them by washing their sins away by dying on that cross for us all. And that's what we need to remember from the, today's story. 
Um, there's something to be said about the stupidity of trying to be the greatest, but we must remember that it was Jesus that washed our sins away by dying on that cross. And if you believe that, then you will believe that Jesus is the one and only one that can do that. And I hope you've enjoyed today's service and a sermon, or not sermon, lesson, and that you will read the story and you will meet Larry and Kenny again. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.